How to create and customize form in Squarespace. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to create a form and also customize it into your website inside Squarespace. So basically it is very easy and very simple. Follow up the tutorial from the beginning to the end and you are going to be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to head over to squarespace.com, sign in for an account, and then you are going to simply to visit the dashboard of the websites that you have created, select one of the websites, obviously, and you are going to head over here. Now, what are we going to do here? We're going to select the page that we want to add the form to, or for example, we are going to create a specific page. So we are going to click on pages here. I'm going to uh, redo the process from websites. You're going to click on it. We have here a drop down menu containing pages, styles, and assets. Click on pages. Now, what are we going to do is to add a new page to the main navigation. And here, what are we going to do is to click on blank page. That blank page is going to be, for example, contact, contact us page. So we are going to put it as this. Now for this one, I'm going to try and hide it. So I'm going to disable this page. I'm going to account here, save the disabling of the first one. Here we have the first page, which is going to be here. Uh, contact us. I'm going to put it to the main navigation. So we are going to see it here. Now, what are we going to see here is an empty page. I'm going to click on edit. Now, as you can see, we have the header, we have the template or the body of the page and we have the footer. Now I'm going simply here to the, uh, as you can see here, the page, let's go ahead and add a section to that page. Let's try and add a section. So it is going to be necessarily to refresh the page. Just so you are going to get this click on here. And if you want to add a contact, so we have here a preset form, as you can see, or preset contact us form, you can go ahead and choose one of these. And if you want to add here a blank section, so you are going to get that. And then we are going to add uh, the traditional form. So how we can find that form, we are going to click on add block. And from here, we have some basics, advanced and etc. We're going to head over the basics and we have here a form. So here we are going to put the form as it is. I'm going to put it here to the middle here basically and successfully we have added our form. So I'm going to make it just right there to the middle. Now, how can we customize that form after we have successfully added it? So we are going to click on the form. We can go ahead and stretch it if we want to make it a little bit bigger, just like that. And as you can see, or we can make it a little bit smaller. So now I'm going to focus on the pen tool. Click on edit. Now we are going to see three type of editing or parameters. We have the content, we have the design and we have the storage and these or this storage is going to be the, let's say here, the stock or the saving place that the email addresses, the messages, subject, and the information of the clients are going to head over to. So, or going to be safe. Now let's start by the content here for the content. You're going to see the form name as we have named it contact us form. We have here the button text, as you can see here at the end, which is going to be submit. We have the edit form fields and post submit option. Now here you can see that we have the submit form. For example, I'm going to modify the button submit form and for the form name, it doesn't matter here a lot to set it up. Now we can click on edit form fields and add some fields or delete some. So here we have basically the name, the email, the subject, and the message. You can click on any of these, uh, as you can see fields and modify them. For example, for the name, we have here the label of it and also the requirements. If it is going to be required or not, you can go ahead and duplicate it and add it as another field. You can add a little description and that description is going to be under the name. Now, aside from that, 
for the email, it is going to be also like this. So here we have the placeholder and you can add a placeholder, for example, here, email, or for example, here, I'm going to put example, example at example or gmail, for example.com or something like that, which is going to be the placeholder label. You can put it as a required and also a email sign up. So basically you are going to allow the form submitters to sign up for your marketing emails also. Now you can also put a send confirmation email. So the, um, let's say here subscribers or the form submitters are going to have here a subs or a confirmation email that they have been subscribing to your newsletter or something like that. If you want to add more fields, you're going to click on add field and then you are going to see all. We have the file uploader, the uh, currency, for example, shoe zero, the number, a time, a date, or a little survey address, or also you can go ahead and put up a checkbox or radio as let's say, so for some surveys, or also checkboxes for uh, multiple choices, uh, let's say questions or etc. Now, aside from that, I'm going to be back here to the design. Let's talk about the design. Now, for the form style, we have here multiple form styles. We have this one, we have the second one, and also we have a lot. So when I click on any of the form styles, it is going to be uh, changing. And as you can see, we have some animation put. Here we have the, uh, let's say the form fields has been changed or the shape of them has been changed to more oval, as you can see, endings or corners. I can go ahead and put this and it will be changing just like that. So basically the end of, or the base of the form field is going to be underlined. Now you can go ahead and put the standard one and also the more specific or the, uh, here, as you can see, the corner rounded one. So I'm going to head over the first one, which is going to be full transparent or the second one. You can also edit the form styles by clicking on here, and then you're going to customize either the uh, form, as you can see fields, or you can go ahead and select one of the uh, here options. So it is going to be here, not very uh, practical to do that, but I'm going to refresh the page for the sake of this uh, topic. But before that, I'm going to see here the button style. As you can see, we have a button style. We have the secondary button. We have the tertiary button. And also you can go ahead and modify these styles of these buttons. Also the shape. I'm going basically here to, uh, let's say here, uh, refresh the page and we are going to see the issue. I think that we have a issue for editing the styles of the buttons or the anything, uh, as you can see. I'm going to try and click on edit and here we have, or the platform did not save the section. I'm going to restart adding the uh, form. So it is going to be good for you. So you are going to remember the form of that of here. So I'm going to put it here in the middle, click on the pen tool. Then we are going to see the form field. I think that we were on, we were on design. Yes. So here for the button, you can go ahead and modify it. Here we have the type of buttons. I'm going to modify the, uh, as you can see, primary one. So we are going to put it as uh, here a pill. I think this is a pill or a rounded rectangle or a pill. So I'm going to put it as a pill. Also, you can go ahead and put some other parameters like the padding of the button and also the outline if you want. You can add here, uh, here something like this. I'm going to change the button style. As you can see, I'm going to head over to the design, click on this and you're going to see it changing. Now for the button alignment, you can go ahead and choose either put it here at the right or the left side to the middle left or put it as here, the longer or the width of the form. So for the first input highlight, you can go ahead and put some highlights or put a light box, for example, just like that as open, uh, as you can see here, uh, the uh, form. Also, you can add a background and put a background color for it. For example, something like this. Make sure that you are going to add here at least a, 
a font color that will not be uh, going uh, with the theme or the background color so you are going to make the uh, let's say here the labels visible you can add some strokes but here i'm not going to do that it is uh, here you can add some corner radius just like that and put for example a number of two and then you are going to put a corner radius for the paddings you can go ahead and add some paddings here we have the medium paddings the blend mode you can go ahead and put an overlay for example a darkened lightning or a normal and also you can add some blur as you can see now aside from that we are going to talk about the storage again so here the email notification you're going to receive an email when someone sends you a, a form response to this email address you can add for example here another or additional storage like mailchimp so we are going to collect some information about the or data about the customers and google drive for mailchimp it is going to be the most suitable why because it is going to have your contacts created in them uh, or the uh, database of MailChimp of your account and then you can go ahead and start creating some campaigns or email campaigns and also for the submitting of the emails I think that you're going to get them on Squarespace so also Squarespace has a marketing platform that will help you to set up the uh, let's say um, marketing purposes or marketing in general uh, campaigns Aside from that, we can edit this section here and put here a background color for that section or something like that here, uh, aside from the uh, form itself. Basically, that was all for today's video on adding a form. Instead, if you do not want to add a basic form just like that, you can add a section uh, special for contact forms. So, and if you do not want to add a contact form section, you can go ahead and add whatever. So we can go ahead and start by forms just like that. Click on forms and then they are going to be the same as uh, here, the uh, let's say contact form. So we are going to click on any form just like that. This is another form type of form. So we are going to get the form integrated, but it is going to have more questions so you are going to get all the same settings so we have only some fields added and this is it these are going to be let's say here pre-made forms so you are going to get an image inserted a title a big title the same button and the same aspects that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one